Well, tonight we're going to bring you inside the cab of a tow truck that rolled three times, three and a half times actually, before finally coming to a stop on the side of I-70. Lakewood police have cited a driver for causing that six vehicle crash last Tuesday. Spencer Wilson is your reporter in the mountains. He joins us live now along I-70 and Spencer, one woman being cited for careless driving in this crash. Yeah, I just got off the phone with Lakewood Police and to clarify, not the tow truck driver, a different driver. And you'll see in the video the discussion on whether or not distracted driving is a part of this conversation only because that car does not stop when there is a long line of traffic directly in front of them, swerves into another lane, causing the entire mess. The driver is headed west, approaching Golden, when the white car pulls out in front of him. And Dean, the tow truck driver, is thrown off the road. Dean breaks a finger and is pretty sore from being tossed around the cab, but is otherwise okay. The truck, um, well, I don't know how it could get worse, actually. <laughs> um, you know, doing this for a long time, like 18 years in fire service for over 10, and, um, you know, uh, this is about as crumpled as it gets. It, 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 it went through the crusher, right? It's flat. Dean's boss, Charlie Stubblefield, says the dash camera tells the whole story of what happened. Uh, the driver of that white SUV was distracted. Um, there was a hard stop in front of her, um, and she probably put her, face, or her, her head up too, um, too late, and uh, she needed to react, and instead of just reacting in her lane, she chose to yank the steering wheel to the left and collide with my vehicle. As for getting that clobbered tow truck towed. We did it. <laughs> you towed your own truck. Yes, yes. Sadly, I, hate, I hated that call, and I hated a to dispatch my people out to that call, but yep, it is what it is. Nobody was seriously hurt, yet Stubblefield says there's still a hefty price to the story. This driver we found out was uninsured, um, and I would imagine causing a six vehicle crash, multi millions of dollars, I can only speculate that the insurance companies will, will hold her accountable financially for the damage that was caused. Just another reason to keep your eyes on the road, aside from keeping everyone, including yourself, safe. Now, Mountain Recovery says that Dean is actually back at work. He's not behind the wheel yet. He's still doing some more training, but he is well enough to get back to work. Still a little stiff, but he's okay. The other person who had minor injuries in this also discharged from the hospital. Live along I-70, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first.